Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Commune Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. You know, French conjugations are hard, so many tenses and persons and mistakes you can make, but luckily some of our verbs use only one person. That must be simple to use then, right? Well, maybe not, but I will try to show you how you can master the French impersonal verbs. C'est parti! Pleuvoir. Pleuvoir means to rain. It's the typical impersonal verb, just like in English. You can only use it as a third person of singular and with the masculine pronoun il. Il pleut. So you have to learn the conjugation of only one person, but the tenses can change. You can use it in present tense. Of course, il pleut aujourd'hui. Où est mon parapluie? Il pleut aujourd'hui. Où est mon parapluie? Or the future. Tu crois qu'il pleuvra? Tu crois qu'il pleuvra, or more commonly, tu crois qu'il va pleuvoir, tu crois qu'il va pleuvoir. Maybe the past, il a plu hier soir, il a plu hier soir, with le passé composé. Il pleuvait quand je suis rentrée chez moi, il pleuvait quand je suis rentrée chez moi, with l'imparfait. The verb changes, sometimes far away from the infinitive, but on the whole, it's still pretty straightforward, for now. Falloir. Falloir means it's necessary. Like pleuvoir, falloir is impersonal. You can only use it with il. Il faut. Il faut. But when we use the verb, we need to add something else. We cannot just say il faut on its own. So we need to add a complement like a pronoun. Il le faut. It's necessary. Il le faut. Or a pronoun, then a noun. Il me faut ce nouveau téléphone. Il me faut ce nouveau téléphone. I need this phone. Or more literally, it's necessary for me to have this new phone. But we more commonly add a whole new part of a sentence after il faut, with the pronoun que, then the subject and the verb in the subjective mood. Il faut que je sois à la maison. Il faut que je sois à la maison. Il faut que vous veniez voir ça. Il faut que vous veniez voir ça. Il faut que tu arrêtes de faire du bruit. Il faut que tu arrêtes de faire du bruit. The French subjunctive has its own rules and I might talk about this in a later video. You can also use falloir in other tenses and moods. Sometimes in the future, il faudra penser à prendre de l'eau. Il faudra penser à prendre de l'eau. More rarely in the past tense, but I think the best use of falloir is in the conditional. Il faudrait que quelqu'un s'en charge. Il faudrait que quelqu'un s'en charge. It would be good if someone did it. Because falloir is just impersonal to say you need to or I need to without needing to explain who should do that thing. The conditional adds yet another layer of being non-committal. It's the best way to criticize from afar sans se mouiller, sans se mouiller, without ever getting really involved. It can be useful when you don't really want to give someone orders, but you still have to. But be careful, if you're not specific about who you're talking to or which time frame you want it to get done, probably nothing will happen. In spoken French, we often don't say the il before falloir. Faut faire les courses aujourd'hui. Faut faire les courses aujourd'hui. Faudrait changer l'ampoule de la salle de bain. Faudrait changer l'ampoule de la salle de bain. Someone should change the light bulb in the bathroom. But you know, I don't know who. Probably not me though, and especially not right now. Valoir. Valoir means to be worth something. You find the same sound in la valeur, the worth, for example. Don't mix this up with vouloir. Valoir and vouloir. To want. No. Different verbs. Technically, valoir can be conjugated with all the persons. La baguette vaut un euro. La baguette vaut un euro. Vous valez beaucoup pour moi. Vous valez beaucoup pour moi. Arrête de te plaindre, tu vaux mieux que ça. Arrête de te plaindre. Tu vaux mieux que ça. However, the verb is also used in an impersonal way. For instance, with il vaut mieux, it's better to. Il vaut mieux. 
For example, il vaut mieux échouer que de ne pas essayer. Il vaut mieux échouer que de ne pas essayer. It's better to fail than not to try. Il, here, doesn't represent anything or anyone. You could rephrase it with the infinitive, with échouer vaut mieux que de ne pas essayer. Échouer vaut mieux que ne pas essayer. Échouer vaut mieux que ne pas essayer. And we find the same structure in the confusing French proverb Un tien vaut mieux que deux tu l'auras. Un tien vaut mieux que deux tu l'auras, which I explained in my recent video about French proverbs. You can explain it's better for him. Il vaut mieux pour lui que je sois là quand il rentre. Il vaut mieux pour lui que je sois là quand il rentre. I'd better be back there when he comes back. Sometimes when we speak, we don't say il, like with Falwar that we saw before. Vaut mieux être seul que mal accompagné. Vaut mieux être seul que mal accompagné. It's a proverb. Better be alone than in a bad company. And sometimes it's just not worth it. Ça vaut pas le coup. Ça vaut pas le coup. And now it's your turn. I made this episode because I've heard confusion between il faut and il vaut. And I want to help you understand the difference. So let's see how you fare. Write in the comments below how you would translate the sentence like this one. Il pleut. Il faut que tu prennes un parapluie pour sortir, mais il vaut mieux que tu restes chez toi en attendant le soleil. Il pleut. Il faut que tu prennes un parapluie pour sortir, mais il vaut mieux que tu restes chez toi en attendant le soleil. Good luck! It will have you ever confused these verbs. What was the occasion? Do you know any other impersonal French verbs? Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below. We can all learn from your story. The comment section on the blog is the best place to store discussions and ask me questions. Please comment if you like this video or if you have something you want me to talk about. I read all the comments. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, email, just talking to your neighbor any way you like. Help me spread the word about Coven Française. Merci. Love friends, dream of sounding French even to the French and that's not easy. Learn how with me, Geraldine on CommunFrancaise.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive clips on real life in France every Tuesday and exclusive info only by email, plus an exclusive video lesson for you, introduce yourself in French. And it's free. Merci for watching Commune Française TV, sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut!